be showing you guys how to make your own collage like you've seen on my recent design of Jordan Hawkins. First thing that you want to do is you want to press U to use your rectangle tool and you're just going to lay out a base shape. U is the shortcut for that rectangle tool. You're going to lay out a base shape, all right? And once that base shape is laid out, we're going to drop down our opacity so that we can start seeing everything that is underneath our our shape because we want to know where we're going to be putting our random squares because it's going to be a lot of random squares that are going to be added to this piece in order to make it work. It doesn't matter what the fill color is, but if you want to change it, go ahead. I will suggest that once you start making your other shapes that you're going to want to change around your fill color a good amount so that you can really be sure that you are knowing the variance of these shapes. And as you see right there, I clip this I clip this next rectangle that I make to the first base rectangle and that is because we're going to be clipping all of these shapes in order to keep all the shapes within the original base shape. Okay, so how to make a clipping mask, you can right click and there's an option. You can right click on a layer and there's an option to make a clipping mask or you can hold down Alt if you're on Windows and towards the bottom of the layer, there's going to be an option that you're going to see to make a clipping mask. Or if you're on Mac, it will be command. It's that little arrow diagram that you guys see on the screen. And then you guys also see that I'm changing the color of these shapes as I go. And I'm just varying these rectangle shapes just as I please. Not every shape has to be super equal or super congruent. They all just want to be their own unique shape so that once you start really making your collage and putting all these shapes together you're going to have a lot of variance and you're going to have an interesting makeup of shapes so this part is not really something you can so this part's not something i can just say is super by the book because you have to create and you have to adjust to your liking and just really get in your bag here just varying up the shapes and making something that looks interesting to you and that's gonna look interesting to the viewers of your artwork. Just staying within the rectangle tool, I could do a tutorial later on on how to do different shapes, but I think that the rectangles do work really well and they just look very industry standard. They look very clean and unique, unique when you can put them all together in this way. So remember to clip all your shapes to the original base layer as you guys see i'm stacking up my shapes now and they're all clipped to that original rectangle one and once again to clip you can right click on a layer and you can create a clipping mask or use the shortcut which i prefer holding down alt so you get to around the bottom of the layer and then you'll see an arrow diagram to clip it to the next shape Once you start adding in more shapes, you'll just get in a rhythm of what you want to see, but you do have to just start by adding your own shapes and just seeing where it goes. Once you have all your shapes filled and you have all the shapes that you want to be around the image and representing the image, you're going to duplicate your original background layer and just make a duplicate of things just to make backups. But everything is going to be based off of this base image, the actual image, not the base shape. So once you once you start doing this, you're going to control click on each of the separate rectangles that were clipped to the main base rectangle shape. The main base rectangle shape will not have its own will not have its own uh, image selection, but you're going to control click like you see right here. So you're going to control click that rectangle and you're going to press control J to make a shape, make an image from that actual rectangle. Always going back to the original image. And you guys see I'm color coding so that I know which one I have done so far. So control click. Now I'm pressing control J to make a duplicate layer from the visible that was selected on the canvas. All right, so I got in a rhythm. So I'm gonna control click, duplicate from what is selected off the original image. And then I'm going to make it red so I know that I've done that. Control click, red duplicate off the original image boom just like that and you're going to complete you're going to repeat this process until you finish all the shapes that you want and that are desired just stay really just stay really consistent with the method that you use and stay color coded it will help you out tons once again control click on your shape 
Then you're going to mark it as red because you already did that one. And you're going to make a duplicate from the original base image, not the base shape that we put over the image. Now you guys see that I have my shapes in groups now. So I have my shape cut up group and I have my mask cut up group. And then below that, I have the original two images and the ones that I, you know, had made their own entity. So I put a black background behind just so I can get the shape cut ups by themselves. And I hid the actual shape cut up because I just want the mask cut up. So now those original shapes are now their own mask and their, their own part of their own image. So this is really how you're going to get it done. And now you're going to see that you just have to freestyle once again, just like when you were making the shapes. Now you're going to freestyle in the way of composing your shapes on the canvas. Okay, so take all your layers. You can mismatch your layers, maybe make them smart objects if you want to move them around or resize them indestructibly. That's how you do that indestructibly. You just right click and then convert them to smart objects or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which I do recommend you guys look into making a keyboard shortcut to convert your layers to smart objects because right clicking all the time kind of just waste a lot of energy. But yeah, so you now see I'm just cooking up and I'm just adjusting these shapes to be something to where I like and you can even just like you see here I just control X control V off of some of the shapes to make their own shapes within shapes <laughs> so this part is really a lot of freestyle there's no by the book way of how you're gonna make your own collage but just have fun with it and you gotta really experiment put layers over the top of each other move layers around make some more shapes within the shapes that you had already created. Just don't be stagnant. Just be free with what you're doing. And once you do that, you guys see in this slide, I have my original mask from the Anthony Simons recent work artwork that I had made. I'll put that on the screen and just see how uh, it can really bring a composition together really, really easily and really fast because this is just a really cool and unique way to do your artwork and just, just very, very freestyle like so it just makes the eye go oh, okay okay i like what he did in that effect there and you're gonna have a lot of people guessing how you did it but if they have any questions they can come through here and yeah guys so i really appreciate you guys checking out this video if you guys learned from this tutorial let me know any more questions drop them down in the comment section and yeah what tutorial do you guys want to see next or what video stay tuned it's been calso scoped if you guys want to check out my most recent Patreon project files, be sure to subscribe to the Patreon, become a Patreon today. $5 a month, you guys get pro full project files, all layers named. You guys get full project files, all layers named. Live stream playbacks, texture and asset packs, which I'm updating bi-monthly. So until the next video, it's been Castle Scope. Stay scoped.